Today we are going to open the box that was never opened in the movie Castaway and give you that satisfying closure that you have been wanting, possibly for years and years. Hello, I'm Kevin Harris. Today we are going to not only tell you exactly what was in the package, but show it to you. This video is a follow-up video to my other video about Castaway. In that video, I dove deep into the themes and meaning of the story and the spiritual purpose the package played in that story and what I think the package truly represented. My first answer, and this is not the satisfying one, but it is equally true, is that the package was a movie prop. Yes, this was a movie, and so the package probably had some sand or rocks in it to give it some weight, and nothing more. So if you really want to know what was in the package, it was dirt. I know, not the answer you were wanting. Okay, here's a more satisfying answer. In an earlier version of the script, the third version to be exact, the screenwriter, William Broyles Jr., did have Tom Hanks' character Chuck open the package, and what was in it? Two jars of green salsa. And a note from Bettina. Mrs. Peterson. The welder artist woman that we yes. see at the beginning of the movie and then again at the end in her truck. Where are you headed? The notice to her cheating husband, Dick. It's from my wife. In Russia, whose name now, years later, has been removed from the entry sign. The note reads, you said our life was a prison, dull, boring, empty. I can't begin to tell you how much that hurt. I don't want to lose you. I'm enclosing some salsa, the very day you like. Use it on your sticky rice and think of home. Then come home to me. We'll find the spice in our lives again, together. I love you always, Bettina. All right. Well, there you have it. Her husband apparently didn't come back to her, but Chuck at the crossroads does go back to her. My other video goes into more detail explaining why. But for this video, we'll just say that they lived happily ever after, enjoying salsa and sticky rice together. And Chuck has even gotten his name added to the sign. And that is the moral of the story.